Now it is my pleasure to invite the valedictorian to speak for the class of 2016. The class valedictorian is Alexa Elizabeth Abrams, who is graduating summa cum laude with a degree in fashion merchandising with dual concentrations in business and product development and was a member of the honors program. Upon graduation, she will pursue a career in production development with Macy's Merchandising Group. Alexa. Thank you, and good morning, President Murray, Dr. Wormuth, the Board of Trustees, distinguished faculty, family, friends, and most importantly, the class of 2016. I'm honored to be standing before you today, as so many of us are unique, accomplished, community-oriented, and could easily be in my position. I am awed to be chosen to represent the class of 2016 in celebration of our collective and individual accomplishments. I can't believe we are graduating today. We have come into our own at Marist and are more prepared than ever to embrace the future and make our mark on the world. Marist's commitment to academic excellence and its spirit and values has set us apart and prepared us for what lies ahead. We have proven time and time again that we are a tight-knit family. We visited each other while abroad, we opened our homes to each other, and we have lent a shoulder to lean on when we couldn't stand on our own. Maris has taught us how to live and love, to persevere, and to grow. Our freshman year, we weathered Hurricane Sandy together and helped to rebuild communities affected by the storm, proving our resilience, commitment to service, and commitment to the community. Understanding our strength as a group empowered us to hit the ground running. We began to leave our comfort zones behind, our sophomore year, the music program came to life in its new home, and our renovated student center and dining hall earned us the title of Hogwarts on the Hudson. As we continued with our education, we took on internships that challenged and inspired us. We studied abroad, allowing us a new perspective on the world and a deeper understanding of the culture we immersed ourselves in. We watched the sunrises and sunsets on the Hudson, and did our best to enjoy every moment that we had during this beautiful and transformative time in our lives. We grew our relationships and our friendships blossomed as we tried desperately to ignore the graduation countdown clock. As senior year approached, we took advantage of our time at Marist and rallied together to enjoy these times as a family. Senior year has been a time of change. It is a presidential election year, as was our freshman year, and change is happening all across the country. Dr. Cornell West came to campus in fall, igniting change at Marist. Students in the School of Science moved into the new Allied Health Building, and Marist will see the inauguration of President-elect Yellen as President Murray steps into his new role of President Emeritus. All of us have also experienced personal growth over our four years with the support of those around us. During my time at Marist, both here and abroad, I experienced health complications. In those moments that I felt completely alone and that no one could understand me, my Maris family showed me that they were there to stand by my side, regardless of where I was in the world. We have all faced hardships or adversity in our lives, whether it was someone telling us that we couldn't do something or convincing ourselves that we weren't capable of following through with a goal. Being here today is a testament to our hard work, dedication, and perseverance. It is an amazing accomplishment and each of us should stand with pride knowing the incredible journey that has led to this moment. The hard work, long hours, and nights spent with James A. Canavino. We are here because of the strength and support that our Maris family has given us. Whether this was a mentor, a professor, a staff member, or a friend, we couldn't have done it without them, and for that we are all grateful. When I think back to our first day of freshman year, I could not have imagined that my life would lead me to where it has, and I know many of you feel the same. This is not an end, it is a new beginning, and we should look forward with great excitement as we encounter a new chapter. We are on the verge of the most amazing moments of our lives, and the best part is that we do not know what they will be. Enjoy every moment knowing that Marist will always be a home for each and every one of us. Whenever we see the sun setting over a body of water, it will always bring us back to those moments we cherished most at Marist. 
the beauty and love it added to our lives, and the values it instilled in our hearts. We have truly embodied the Marist values of a caring community and service to others. It is now our job to represent Marist as proud alumni. To paraphrase A.A. A. Milne, how lucky am I to have something that makes leaving so hard? It's not about knowing where we are headed next. It's about knowing that no matter where we are headed or what our dreams become, our Marist family will be there every step of the way. We may be leaving, but family is forever. Congratulations, class of 2016.